I have had two premonitions up to now. Both happened in 1992, a long time ago, but a year full of disasters in the Netherlands. In both dreams, I was standing in front of a window, observing the disaster unfolding. These dreams were also so vivid that I can still remember them in clear detail. The first one was that suddenly, I was in an office looking outside overlooking a chemical factory. I immediately knew that it was the Sindhu factory nearby. Suddenly, one of the reactor vessels exploded, setting the whole of the factory into flames. A few days later, on July 8, 1992, it did, indeed, happen. A trainee operator used the wrong recipe for the process. The reactor vessel overheated. The company brigade started cooling the vessel down, but to no avail. The vessel exploded. One of the valves was found two kilometers away. The three firemen died, and eleven other employees were injured, of which one had very severe burns. A few months later, at the end of September in 1992, suddenly I again had a vivid dream of standing in front of a window, this time at the Zilmer area in the southeast of Amsterdam. I saw military planes dropping bombs on a block of apartments. In the early evening of October 4th, 1992, an El Al cargo Boeing took off from Amsterdam Airport, heading to Tel Aviv. Just after takeoff, the captain notified traffic control that they had lost power in two engines and requested to return. What he didn't know was that he not only lost power in these engines, he physically lost the two engines. I think that they were actually the bombs that I thought I saw falling. The captain had very big troubles in controlling the airplane. He made some circles go up to the point that he could not hold the plane anymore, and it plunged almost nose down into the corner where two blocks of apartments met. It left a burning hole of rubble, eight stories over a length of about ten apartments, gone. The death toll was 43, of which four were aboard the plane. I have since then not had these kinds of dreams anymore. Maybe because both disasters happened within a radius of less than 10 kilometers from where I lived back then. This may have been a huge coincidence, but last January I applied for my grandfather's military service records. He died in 1981, way before I was born. I applied for his records and didn't think anything more of it. Several months went by, and I assumed that things were just moving slowly. Six months later, without hearing any news of his records arriving, one night I had a very vivid dream. I don't often remember my dreams anymore. In my dream, I was in a very white, very bare room with high walls and a high ceiling. On a small table in front of me was a box, and inside was my grandfather's military service history. The dream simply revolved around my taking a good look through them. Nothing too exciting. The next morning, I wake up and remember the dream, maybe around an hour after I got up. Ten minutes later, a large envelope drops through my letterbox. It was my grandfather's service records. Odd? Just coincidence? A second, much stranger event occurred on the evening when my grandmother passed away. She had passed in the early morning and had been taken to the Chapel of Rest, which was not too far from the apartment where I was living. That evening, my parents invited me and my girlfriend for a dinner to celebrate her life. In the car, as we drove past the chapel, a leaf landed on the windscreen. The leaf was a perfect heart shape, upside down, so that the light from the streets illuminated the perfectness of the heart shape onto the car's dashboard. 
The leaf stayed on the windscreen for a minute or so, and right as we turned away and out of our town, it blew off and back toward the chapel itself. I do have a video of the leaf and the heart on the windshield. For a while afterward, shuffling footsteps and noises kept occurring in my parents' house, and they sounded exactly how my grandmother used to walk. We all heard them moving across the upstairs landing. After around two weeks, it stopped, and has never happened since. Odd, strangely comforting, and food for thought for a semi-skeptic who finds the subject of the paranormal fascinating. During the past few years, my gifts of clairvoyancy have developed further, which has created some moments where I truly have questioned my sanity. Former teachers of mine have communicated to me from beyond their grave. Two of them have led me to where they are buried, and I have predicted three district deaths. The first teacher to come through was actually a nurse from the local school, followed by my sixth grade social studies teacher, I was aware that the nurse had passed away in 2012, so I wasn't surprised when she came through. However, I was unaware of the second one passing, and immediately went into denial mode. Eventually, through clues via dreams and meditation, I was able to locate her final resting place. I went from being in denial to being absolutely speechless. I followed the clues that she gave me, and there I was, at her grave. It was at that moment that I realized that what I was dealing with was reality and that I was not losing my mind. The creepy thing is the numbers of her plot are the same as the numbers in the school district where she taught. As I was visiting her on March 1st, 2017, I had a flash or image prediction about another former teacher passing away, and they would be buried in the same cemetery. On March 6th, another one of my 6th grade teachers passed away, and a few days later they were buried in the same cemetery. The process repeated itself, and he led me to where he is buried. That isn't the only death or dreams, visions that I've had. I've had two others. One was in December of 2016, hours after the teacher passed away, and one was in June 2017, six months prior to her passing. There seems to be no time structure when it comes to dreams or visions, and the time of passing itself. It ranges in hours after to six months before. A couple of months ago, I had another dream, and while nothing has happened as of yet, I am very concerned. I'm going to start this out by giving some background on my mother. She's currently 58, a nurse, and a devoted Christian. Other than the occasional drink, she doesn't do anything to alter her mind. This story begins one day when my mom laid down for a nap. The way she described it, she wasn't asleep, but she began to see a video of sorts repeating in her head as soon as she closed her eyes. She saw a young teenage girl dressed in a schoolgirl outfit, floating away in a boat and waving. My mom could feel her emotions, her sadness and worry for her grandmother as she said goodbye. She could feel that this girl was going to a peaceful place. As well as this, she saw a calendar turn three times. This vision repeated itself once or twice, until my mother came too. She thought it was a vision of our family friend Shannon, but it didn't look quite like her. Later on, during the month of March, there was a shooting at a local rave. Shannon's younger sister was shot and killed. She was wearing the exact schoolgirl outfit that my mother saw her in during the vision. The fact that it happened in March means that the calendar was a warning of what was to come. We are unsure of why exactly my mom was meant to see this but we were able to provide some comfort to the family by letting them know that she was somewhere safe and peaceful. I 
I'm going to tell about my experience, but for certain reasons I will not be naming anyone specifically. It was 2014. I was 13 years old at the time and my great-grandmother was in a nursing home as her mental health had started to slip and as my great-aunt and uncle couldn't take care of her anymore. I remember the last time that I had seen her in person. It was a sunny January afternoon and me, my parents, grandparents, and my aunt and uncle had decided to talk outside as opposed to the sad, depressing clinical interior of the nursing home. Despite my great-grandmother having memory issues, she recognized me right away and told me specifically hello. It's March of 2014, and during the night, I'm having memory flashbacks of things that me and my great-grandmother used to do, like stringing long strands of old-fashioned buttons, or the time I had my first ever garden-grown tomato raw, sitting on the porch swing with her while my grandfather worked in the field. I remember waking up that morning and asking, almost demanding my mother to call the nursing home or my great aunt and uncle, and she called them while I took a shower. After I got done, my mother informed me that my grandmother had indeed passed away from old age. I spent the rest of the day walking around our house in an almost trance-like state. For a little background, my mother has been in a long-term nursing facility since March with some serious but stable health issues. Then there was a virus outbreak in her facility and she was diagnosed with it. I of course worried for her condition as she began to decline rather quickly over the beginning of last week. Last Wednesday, I switched off my light at 10 p.m. like most nights, rolled over, and began to doze off. Typically, when I'm dozing, my mind will follow some random train of thought that will lead me off into snooze land. That night, as I was dozing, I envisioned my mother walking into my late father's arms, being hugged by my older brother who had died nine years ago, and having my grandparents and aunt gather around her while being hugged by my father. Then the phone woke me up at 10.30 p.m., the hospice nurse called to tell me that my mother had passed away at 10.15. I like to think that I was seeing her entry into heaven with my family's love and long-missed affection return to bring her to happiness. A few years ago, I was still in high school, and out of my own curiosity, I tried to lucid dream. I started recording dreams for a month as soon as I woke up. I had all of them written out on a big notepad, but I never really got it to work. Anyway, one night I had a dream where a friend came to me right before I woke up, and the only thing that happened was him telling me something bad is going to happen soon. A few days later, I completely forgot about this, but the same friend in real life keeps acting really just down in the dumps. I ask him what's wrong, and he said it's just a bummer because his uncle had a heart attack and he's worried about him. To add to it, I get a call later that day telling me that my uncle also had a heart attack on the same day and died. At that point, I had to break this weird story to him. Premonition? or just pretty creepy coincidence. He believes the story, even though I would have been skeptical. My mom and grandma have had similar experiences with premonitions, but I am now 21 and have been having them for the first time in my own life recently. A few weeks ago, I had a very vivid dream about my childhood best friend who I haven't seen or spoken to in years, and I woke up the next day to find out that she had committed suicide. Then this past week, I told my boyfriend that I missed our old co-worker, who we also haven't seen or spoken to in a few years. And come to find out, he suddenly dropped dead about 15 minutes before I had made that comment. 
Today I took a nap and had another very vivid dream, very lucid, about my high school boyfriend. And now I'm a little bit freaked out and I'll definitely be watching his social media over the coming days, hoping that this has just been a weird coincidence. Alright everyone, I hope you enjoyed these true scary stories, and if you did, make sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons for me, along with that notification bell to stay updated on all the latest content. To have your own horror story featured, feel free to submit it to me via the email included below in the description. Also down there you can find the links to other playlists with lots more awesome creepy content for you to enjoy. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Until then, don't forget to embrace the terror.